my fellow readers. Today I'm going to be talking about the beginning after the end. I have read the first three volumes of this series. I believe this is published on Webtoon. Oh, actually this looks like it's a tapas book. So it is available online. It's a webcomic. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just read the back like I normally do and then I'll talk more about like my thoughts on this series because I've been enjoying it. Well, let's go. Experience the hit fantasy comic finally in print. King Grey is a remarkable ruler with a prosperous reign, and yet opulence and success cannot bury emptiness and solitude. His time as king, however, comes to an abrupt end, and he reincarnates as Arthur Lewin, a baby born in a world of magic and monsters. Equipped with memories of his previous life and the desire to protect the newfound warmth surrounding him, Art begins his journey of becoming a strong warrior once again. Sword training, monocore formation, magic studies, Art does it all in order to be as powerful as he can be. But will it be enough to repel the dangerous forces that threaten his second chance at life? So yes, this is a reincarnation story as so many are. Uh, Art in his previous life was a king and dies at the beginning and gets reborn as a young boy who is Art. Um, and we mostly, I think in this volume especially, just see him as the young baby boy getting to know his family and awakening to his magic abilities. Like, he has a lot of power held within him uh, and he can do stuff because of that. And so they have to train him uh, to be able to maintain his powers. Uh, the series, it's kind of hard for me to like remember where each thing cuts off because again, uh, as I said, I've read the first three volumes and I know that in the second volume, he's separated from his family. He meets a special creature. I don't want to give too much away. Um, when he's separated, who begins to train him and then he meets another friend and ends up getting trained further by another uh, culture. So it is like his whole progress of training and leveling up and still at, at, at the point in the second book and most of the third he is separated from his family as well. Uh, so it's how will he get back to his newfound family and the support that they have and how are they doing and I guess where he's gonna go in his life because he does have this immense power within him and just trying to figure that out and I've enjoyed this series because it's just a very good like fantasy series and again I'm kind of a fan of reincarnation stories and starting over what I haven't seen that much of yet in this series is more on his past like we get a glimpse in the very beginning um, of the story but literally just a glimpse uh, and then it's really just him as art learning about his life as art. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I, I want for more about how he was as King Grey and how that's impacting him. Like, I think it's interesting. Again, I like reincarnation stories. And I think it's interesting that even though he has this newfound life, he retains... A lot of the strength that he had when he was king and again that's nothing new that happens in a lot of these types of stories but I just want to know like more about that I guess and why and how that's going to impact him I don't know I like a lot of the character developments and um, I guess introduced friends that come into play in the second and third volumes so I would say even though like I'm holding up this one, this is really covers one through three. And I really enjoyed those ones a lot because of that. I think it helped show Art's growth as a character, but then also introducing these other major characters into helping form who Art is and what he's going to do. I don't know. I enjoyed them very, very much. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's a relationship that gets introduced that I could see turning into a love story and love interest. They're still very, very young at this point. So I think when he's separated from his family, he's still like very small. I'm trying to remember if he's only like five or something. He's like very, very young. Um, 
He's like five to seven, I feel like. And then when he gets sent back to them, he's maybe like 10 or 11, like sent back on his journey, which that's like the end of volume three. Uh, so we're talking about a very, very young kid, but I can see one of the relationships in it developing further into a love relationship, but I don't know what that would mean for the world in which they live, if that is the case. So, I don't know. I find it interesting. I find it good. I am a sucker for fantasy series, and I am kind of a sucker for reincarnation stories, as you've probably seen in a lot of my reviews. I like a lot of them. And this has a lot of that in it. The, the magic and sword wielding and the monsters and different species of fantasy creatures. Like, they're all in here. And the art's pretty good, too. I enjoy uh, the artwork in the series. There are some very cute, like, like a little baby art. Um, there's just some very cute artwork. There's sweet scenes. Uh, the second volume definitely has bits that would make you want to cry because we meet a really good mentor for art. And they're just lovely. Uh, and I, I enjoyed it immensely. Uh, so, I would say... Yes, if you've been kind of seeing it in your periphery, the beginning after the end is definitely worth a little try. Uh, you can see if your local library has it or maybe invest in it if you do have the money to put in toward it because it is a fun fantasy series that I personally am enjoying. I like that they are progressing his age now. I'm hopeful that as we go on, we'll continue to see him. I could see this being one where the majority of the story will take place in his teen years, and that's fine um, because it definitely appeals to the teenaged uh, readers. <laughs> but, but it's really good. And I have a feeling if you did get to volume three and you wanted to read on, I bet if you visited Tapas, you would be able to find more chapters that are just not published in print yet. Uh, I haven't done that, but yeah. No. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Until next time, bye.